Welcome to your crypto class. We're going to go over the news, overall market, hot movers in the basket, crypto screener review indicators, and most importantly, question and answers. I'm Susie, also known as Crypto Girl, and we have Joe on the line, and he is the creator of some super awesome indicators, which we call the radar and crypto mastery indicators. So please take advantage of all of Joe's super smartness tonight and or today and let us know um, what you think and what questions you have about the market and we'll jump into some live charts here in a minute but before that let's check out some news coinbase introduces crypto to fortune 500 while ftx ceo featured in the times 100 by tom farron on cointelegraph.com so U.S.-based crypto exchange Coinbase ranked 437th on the elusive fortune leaderboard, while Sam Bankman-Fried was highlighted by Time magazine in the innovation category. In an industry milestone, cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase has become the first corporation within the crypto and blockchain space to be featured on the prominent Fortune 500 list. A 68-year-old annual tradition the Fortune 500 list is synonymous with ranking the leading corporations in the United States by total revenue, as well as other quantifiable metrics such as percentage profit margins, assets, and the number of employees, among others. Retail giant Walmart captured the top spot for the 10th consecutive year with $572 million in revenue and a growth of 2.4%. Amazon registered second place with 469 million and 21.7%, while Apple took a third with 365 million and 333%. Coinbase Global's inclusion at 437th was support, supported by revenues recorded of 7,839 million, a five. 113.7% annual gain and 3,730 employees globally. In the other news, FTX SEO Sam Bankman Fried was featured in the most influential people of 2022 by Time magazine. Next on the news is Tron overtakes Shiba Inu in terms of market capitalization by Danielle on Cryptopolitan.com. According to data from CoinMarketCap, Tron, TRX, currently overtakes Shiba Inu, SHIB, S-H-I-B, in terms of market capitalization. TRX, Tron, is currently ranked the 14th position with a market valuation about $4.7 billion, just ahead of SHIB with its own valuation of $6.38 billion. Tron, also seems to be gaining momentum following the launch of its algorithmic stablecoin, USDD. The stablecoin runs on a similar algorithm to Terra's USD. USDD is already amongst the top 100 cryptocurrency by market capitalization just half a month after its launch. Currently, the Tron ecosystem consists of stablecoins USDT, USDJ, TUSD, USDC, and USDD, forming a very solid foundation for its ecosystem. Tron, DAO, also stated in a tweet on May 23rd that according to DeFi Llama, the total value locked on Tron currently ranks third among the global public chains, just next to Ethereum and BNB chain. Tron's total value locked has increased by 22.37% in the last 24 hours. Also helping maintain its momentum in the fact that Tron regularly burns TRX coins. According to a Twitter user, over 5.8 billion TRX tokens worth about 462 million have already been burned. ANKR a decentralized Web3 infrastructure also announced its partnership with Tron developers to build a scalable and secure dApps. TRX currently trades at seven cents after 5.3% increase over the last 24 hours 
an 11.45% increase over the last seven days. And last, Ray Dalio. He actually lives a um, little bit away from where I am, and I've actually worked for one of his um, companies, Bridgewater. All right, so billionaire Ray Dalio acknowledges his portfolio includes a tiny percentage of Bitcoin by Justianis on Finbold.com. Just so you guys know a little back end um, information, Ray actually manages McDonald's money. Woohoo! All right, so here we go. After maintaining a hard stance against Bitcoin, Bridgewater Associates founder and billionaire Ray Dalio has acknowledged that the asset is part of it, his investment portfolio. Speaking during CNBC's Squawk Box show on May 24th, Dalio stated that Bitcoin has made tremendous achievements over the last decade, hence the change of opinion towards the asset. He stressed that Bitcoin has emerged as an alternative to gold and other assets. Dalio's previous objection towards Bitcoin emanated from the asset's high volatility, which he believed disqualified it as a store of value. I'm saying that Bitcoin has made a tremendous achievement over the last 11 years. It's a tiny percentage of my portfolio. I think the Bitcoin people get too preoccupied with it. The gold bugs get too preoccupied with it. I think you have to look at the broader set of assets that serve that purpose, said Dalio. Bitcoin ability to replace fiat. Additionally, Dalio noted that Bitcoin had gained traction to become the new form of money that might replace fiat currencies. He insinuated that Bitcoin is well positioned to serve as a medium of exchange that acts as a store of value. So I definitely think you guys should look more into Ray Dalio. He is a super force in the hedge fund world. So now we are going to look at the overall market. We'll check out Bitcoin and Ethereum market caps. So what you're looking at right now is a global currency chart of a total cryptocurrency market cap of all the money in crypto land that is being tracked on coinmarketcap.com. So currently we're at $1.2 trillion. Last week, this day, it was at 1.3 trillion. So if you are a long-term holder, you've most likely seen a little bit of a drop in the value of your portfolio. But if you are a swing trader and you follow the indicators, you are super excited today because you say, woohoo, everything's on sale, super sale, super sale. So this is a seven-day performance chart, and we've been tracking it for a year now. So you guys, if you've been around for a long time, you've seen this go from two, almost 3 trillion to 2.5 to 1.3. And um, you know who's making, this is a zero sum loss guys. Right now, you know who's making the money? The people shorting the market. So kudos to them, whoever has the ability to do that. Being in the United States, I cannot short the market legally. So I just didn't wait for it to drop. And uh, this is what I call my do nothing time. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing something. I've been watching the market and I just sit and wait till I can get back in when I am uh, know it's the floor. You know, If you look on this chart um, in the middle of the week towards the right, that big dip, that would have been a great opportune time to just jump in when it just literally hit 1.2 trillion and jump right back up. So that day, some, that, that moment in time, that maybe hour or two hour time frame, Somebody made a bunch of money, honey. All right, now let's go to the next chart. This is for my visual learners. If you love colors and shapes and sizes and you see, if you see um, pictures better and comprehend that way, then this is for you. Coin360.com, love it. It's called a heat map and it's a heat map because it sees colors. It changes colors according to the fluctuation of the particular coin token asset. So the dark red color means the price to buy went down three steps. So you guys that are super ready and just 
waiting to get back in. You get super excited when you see dark, dark, dark red. All right. And it was really hard to find dark, dark, dark red on this. So um, if you need bifocals, I say put them on now because the one that is dark, dark, dark red is FTM. And you can find it if you just squeeze your eyes and look in the upper right hand corner be underneath TUSD and above GRT. That's where FTM is and that's the dark red. You see a lot of medium red right now. So medium red is the price to buy and went down two steps. So I'm excited that Ethereum is like, it, you know, I got in when Ethereum was really low, like in the hundreds of dollars, but Ethereum's now 1,992. So that's super exciting for someone that's just waiting for the floor to get back in super low. So Ethereum has gone below $2,000. Everybody can say hip hip hooray on that. That is ready to get more and get some more accumulation going in their portfolio. And the light red means it went down one step. And therefore, we have BTC went down 4.33%. So all of you guys that were waiting to accumulate more Bitcoin, it's a super exciting day for you. At $28,000, it's great to see it below 30 if you're in the accumulation stage. Okay, now the green, which we don't really see today at this moment, with the this is a one-week performance chart. So uh, you'll see green on the next slide, I promise. But um, in this particular one, for a one-week perspective, it was hard to find some green. So the dark green means the price to buy went up three steps. And these are for my take profit people, people that are like, yeah, I want to take profit. Unfortunately, on the dark green that went up three steps, BUSD, um, that one actually is not the dark green. Um, I don't really see a dark green that I could actually see right now. So I apologize. The BSD should have been on the one step up on the bottom, meaning it went up once. But here's the thing. BSUSD is a stable coin. So that's not going to make you any profit. OK, so that's just one that um, at this point it looks like it went a little bit over a dollar. And that's why it's fluctuating a little bit beyond the dollar. But that's not an investment. That's more like perching your profits. Okay, the medium green, the price to buy went up two steps. Tron, TRX, which circle back to that newscast I just gave you that is um, in line. And now you know what's happening. It looks like Tron created its own stable coin. And thus the Tron token is now moving forward fast. So earlier we saw on that article that it was at seven cents. It's already at eight cents. Super exciting for the Tron people. And then the light green, the one step down, again, that it should be BUSD. So I want to show you it's not all red in crypto land. So I decided to show you guys the top 200 gainers for the week. And you can get this by um, under gainers and losers as a little arrow down. You can touch that arrow and you could select if you want 50 gainers, 100 top gainers or 200. So just so you don't think that everybody is uh, going on sale. Um, look at this. This is a pretty exciting chart. MIR went up 64%. ACH went up 9%. I mean, there, there are floors here, right? And things are getting super, super, super sale. Um, situations are happening all over. So it's exciting to see that um, things are moving up. These are smaller coins smaller market cap coins and again this chart is um in market cap dominance so i think out of all these winners looks like mir has the largest market cap ach and win maybe following mdx per perp beta and mwc now i don't know any of the fundamentals which meaning i don't know anything um, i can't tell you anything about the project the projects or the um, services that these particular coins are giving you at this time. So you definitely need to do your own diligence before getting in. And and no, if something's up 64%, somebody's super excited about that and going to take profit. So if you have invested in any of these obscure coins, then this may be a time to take profit. All right. So we are going to review the mastery.cryptobrigade.com indicators. If you haven't subscribed to them, then you can do so by just going to that link above. 
So here we go. This is Bitcoin USD one week performance chart with the radar indicator. And this one turns four charts into one. Here's Bitcoin on a one week chart with Bitcoin USD on Coinbase. And you can see that it's still moving downward. Super exciting for the people that are waiting to get back in at a low, low price. So hang tight. And at this point, the four hour, the one day, the one week and the one month are all showing downward trends. So the shorters in the market are making a bunch of money. Zero sum loss. Welcome to the market. Now we have Bitcoin USD one week performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators. And so let's kind of check the radar according to these guys, right? This is the beautiful part about the indicators. When you see collectively they're all saying the same thing, then you pretty much take it for a fact. This is what's happening. You know, you could go scientific on these charts. And when you have multiple mathematical calculations coming into uh, perspective here and they're all saying the same thing, then it looks like a duck, sounds like a duck, quacks like a duck. It's probably a duck. All right, so Bitcoin, let's look at the early reversal indicator up top. And this was taken just probably about within the last hour. You got the red arrow going down on the early reversal indicator. Therefore, it's still moving down. But the exciting part about this is those three lines above it and that's above where that red little dot is, that little squarey dot, the candlestick, that's below the lowest band. Um, this is the Keltner band. And therefore, when this does change direction, it's got so much room to go to that ceiling. So when I say watch for the floor, this is a really exciting floor, you guys. Like it's as if it's a jack in the box and it's just cranking and cranking and cranking, waiting to just jump. So hang tight, watch the show, wait until it's about to blow and, and just get it when it hits the floor. So let's keep going down so you can just see how close to the floor we are. That's why I'm so excited. So the trend indicator, it's, you see how those candlesticks are empty on the inside? That means it's down. You see the red line, it's still going down. So second indicator saying it's going down. Well, actually I'll call it the third because you saw the radar was all red. All right, so the radar would be one, early reversals two indicators saying the same direction, the trend indicator saying the same direction. Now you have the trend strength indicator and you see all of those red arrows going down. Same scenario, okay? So there's your fourth indicator saying, oh, she's going down. Now the signal line, same thing, it's red. So again, the shorters in the market are making money right now. And the so this would be the sixth indicator, the volatility index, my favorite indicator. That one again says it's going down. Okay, now if you look to the right of the volatility indicator, you see 11.10. That is super exciting to me. And the reason why is because that means that when it's oversold, when that big thick red line um, in the volatility index, that's number 20 and the very thin red line is a zero and that's like where i like to buy it's like buying a house on the auction block you make money when you buy it not when you sell it right i had a friend buy a house for a hundred dollars and then he's like looking to sell it for a hundred thousand that's some big profit right that's super exciting um put labor into the house right but here's the thing if you get something on a low low volatility index knowing that this is a valuable asset because you've done your research once you get it in this low zone that's like such a win and then you know instead of fixing up a house the the difference is in the market you have to wait you have to have stamina you just have to wait for the market to correct itself and things to go back so this can't be financial advice because i'm not a financial advisor I'm just kind of telling you the way I look at the market and when I'm shopping for something, you know, what I'm looking for. So I'm I'm watching. I'm excited. We're below 30. This is so exciting, guys. Okay, so now let's check out Ethereum. And Ethereum is in the same situation. All right. So Ethereum is all red. So it's a good thing, guys, if you're again, if you have um 
a little bit of uh, lunch money that you can spare. Um, in, not yet, you know, when, when we hit that floor, we see the reverse, we see the indicators saying, okay, it's time. So it's it's going down, all right? So um, the radar, just so you know, it turns four charts into one again, and you can customize your radar timeframes if you just click on the radar on your trading view screen. So let's go deep dive into the Ethereum chart, one week performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators. Just like Bitcoin, the early reversal is coming in. And look at the Keltner band, those blue lines. The top one is usually where the highest it will be. And the middle is the middle. And then the, the bottom would be like when this starts reversing, that's where it would most likely hit first, that first line. So again, very good situation for someone that's just waiting waiting to buy. Um, the trend, it's beautiful. It's moving down. So it's getting into good position. Um, the trend strength indicator, again, it's going down. Signal line is going down. Volatility index is lower than Bitcoin. It's at a 10.74. The closer it gets to zero, the more exciting, exciting this thing gets. So again, with Ethereum, I'm in a do nothing um, zone right now. I'm just a watch and wait and just um you know just waiting you're waiting unless you are in another country and you can short the market then this is where the shorters are making the money right now all right here is our basket with crypto mastery bitcoin ethereum polygon cardano chainlink litecoin cosmos algorand harmony phantom and solana and most of these coins can be found on coinbase so let's look at the hot movers in the basket. So beyond that basket, we've extended just for this particular class. We have got way more than just those coins we're watching. And today, when I went through the coins and I just clicked on the change percentage, we have Sushi, um, Ethereum, BTC, Seagold, Phil, Helium, and Solana that are currently up a little percentage when I took the screenshot. Pax Gold. Now, Dream, SU, and ZEC, BTC, those were up for the week. Um, I currently Dream and ZEC, it looks like someone's taking some profit. It happens, right? So I want to let you know, um, this is our watch list, but you can organize your watch list by change percentage, the amount of change in the price, the last price, the symbol name, and you can also add subsections to your watch list to better organize what is ready to buy versus what is ripe and ready to sell. And these coins are up for the day, but I always look for coins on the floor to be ready for my next buy. So we're going to look at the crypto screener now. Today's trading views crypto screener simple moving average rating. So I coded those coins you just saw in the earlier area as teal and they all came up as far as the crypto screener as a sell or a strong sell so as there was some minuscule profit you know in current moments the system of trading view is saying sell so they're saying take some profit and then i wanted to show you that you could filter your coins instead of just having an actual uh, ticker symbol and I'll show you in the next slide where you can pull just your watch list so I eliminated the watch list and then I put a filter on to filter to show just the coins on coinbase and that's what you're seeing right now and on coinbase only these are the strong buys and sells that the crypto screener is showing so PAX USDC, which is a stable coin, USDT stable coin. And notice that these are different currencies. We do have some international folks here today. So I wanted to make sure that that is here too and part of this. KNC and BTC is coming up as buy. And I do want to mention that KNC, that has um, been a consistent uh, uh, coin lately in the last few weeks of, of uh, movement upward. So maybe we want to zone in that today. And then the other ones are um, still on sell zone. So this is just so that you can see like how I actually sorted by the exchange name. I clicked on filters 
in the crypto screen or on trading view and then you could select exchange and i selected coinbase and here's where you could just if you only wanted to see the analysis of the watch coins that you've selected then what you do is you click on the flag color you change the flag color on your watch list so all the coins that you want to have the analyzations done on that they're all the same color and on the left hand side you click on the ticker it says ticker 13 matches you click that flag and make it the same uh, flag color and you can change this to many time frames so currently i have it on a one week analysis basis and just so you know i use this technology just to find clues and then i use the indicators with the the crypto mastery indicators and the radar to make my total decision on what's best for me and my portfolio and my personal risk analysis system that i've set up for myself so it's just another place to find clues and i wanted to make sure you guys know how to get to there and what to use it with use it for and how to pull your specific watch list into this also um, just know that this trading view analysis is free for anybody that has even a free trading view account so this data is not proprietary and um, you know a lot of people could be making moves according to it and just so that you know what these words mean um, you can sort by moving average rating which is strong sell strong buys you can sort by last price or by simple moving average for 20 days 50 days and 200 days I just want to make sure if there's anybody new here that you understand that that's SMA, what it stands for, and that the 20 stands for days, the 50 days, and 200 stands for days. All right, and then that little S and the little B means strong sell or sell or buy. So we are going to review the Crypto Mastery, crypto dot, crypto brigade.com indicators, which are Crypto Mastery indicators. So again, if you haven't subscribed, just click on the well, you can't click on that screen, but you could just retype that into your URL and you can subscribe above. All right, so let's get into the indicators. So on my charts, I have volatility index. I have ERI, early reversal indicator. I have a dynamic ATR, which I don't really show you because it's a little complicated. So we can get into that later if you guys have questions about it. Trend indicator, a TSI, which is trend strength indicator, a radar screener and a signal line. So the Radar 1.0, it's used to organize your watch list and it confirms trade progression. It shows four different chart times. It can be applied to multiple indicators and it allows you to see four plus time frame trend directions on one chart. So here's the Radar 1.0 and how it turns four charts into one. So on the upper left hand side, you can see the customized time frame, that little spoke, you can click on that spoke and open that up and you can choose what time frames you want these uh the radar to show so on this particular example i have it 60 minutes four hours one day and one week and this is not today's prices this is just for demo purposes so then we also this is an example of that when you open that spoke up you can change the times to closely monitor the price before buying or selling so on this particular one, I was tracking Luna, which is a bad scenario, but it is what it is. It was three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. And those are up for the moment. So um, I wanted to show you that on the right hand side, you can also click on the percentage change on your watch list and you can see what is up for the moment. So the trend indicator, it's used to set alerts. So that way, when you are busy doing life, you'll get an email when you're saying, okay, when you when that trend that's going down switches, you're gonna know what's gonna happen. So step one, the key will pop up to indicate there's a great chance that an upward trend is coming. So stay alert and get ready. Step two, the bell indicator pops up. It confirms the trend direction. This means the upward direction is strong. So you may wanna take action. Step three, numbers one through seven confirm trend direction with these numerical numbers. The one is the beginning of the first bar from which all buy conditions are met. The two and seven, that's the total number count of the present cycle. 
if the by conditions criteria are still met, the number count will then restart from the bell. So let's see that in person. So here you have the key comes up. That's a key opportunity. And then the bell alert pops up. It's just a bell. It means, all right, it's time. Things are looking good. And so therefore you may wanna slowly get into this market. The one and the seven confirms that that direction is still moving and the momentum is still moving in that direction. Remember guys, this is just one of the five to six indicators that you get with crypto mastery so it's not like you want to hang you know a hundred percent of your income or, or your investment portfolio on this particular indicator but simultaneously they all work together and this is one where you may want to invest or what i invest is probably 20 percent on these alerts so on this particular alert and then other alerts i'll put a percentage in on those so I don't go 100% in on my investments. I slowly, I slowly inch my way in and all the indicators kind of, sometimes they'll go off at different times um, during the day or, or during the week, depending on what time frame you trade on. So we also have my favorite indicator. This is the one on the bottom of the chart you just saw, the volatility index. It shows overbought or oversold conditions and it's used with shorter time frames. Basically, it just helps me know when I'm getting a good deal and when I'm getting it on sale. And if that volatility index was in oversold, that means, honey, don't even think about it because that thing, someone is gonna take profit soon and I don't wanna get caught with coins when people are taking profit. All right, then we have signal line. It shows trend direction confirmation when the green linear average crosses the red. I know that's kind of fancy, a numerical language. It just basically means when the line is green, the price is going up. When the line is red, the price is going down. You're welcome for simplifying it for you. Okay, then the fourth one, we have the TSI, trend strength indicator. It shows early trend reversal when the green little arrows start, at, meaning like when you see the green arrows, it means the price is going up. And then you shows early exit reversal when the red plots start, which means when you see the red arrows, the price is going to go down. And then you have the fifth one, early reversal indicator. This is the first one on your chart that you saw earlier. The green arrow up means the conditions for a soon upward trend are present. And the red arrow down means the conditions for a soon downward trend are present. I call it Houdini. It feels like a magic arrow to me. And um, it's it's interesting. I mean, it, it scares me sometimes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to get out soon, right? So it's a big warning sign. It's really a good indicator because you sit there and you watch the market going up and you see all the profit coming in and you're like, you're. it's like, you want it to keep going, but then the early reversal indicator comes in and you're like, oh, I forgot I have to take profit sometime, right? So I know you know, we all wish that it would go up like 15,000% like Luna did last year, but um, it, they don't all do that. All right, so you gotta take profit often to keep profit, my opinion. Okay, so Bitcoin USD one week chart with crypto mastery indicators. This is not today, this is just for an example meaning like this is not current numbers, um, which it was, sorry, <laughs> it's not. All right, so then we have the early reversal indicator up top and you could see that red arrow came in and then the trend direction. So you can see the key and the bell came in, but the one did not come in after the bell. And you can see that the candlestick dropped below where the bell came in and therefore all of that, uh, that upward momentum you can see that the fight's happening in the market where it's pushing and it's it's pushing it in the other direction and the trend strength in their indicator below that you can see it was going up and then the green arrow it still has so much momentum and so much fire in it but it's it's smoldering you can see the turn in the direction so over time once you watch these indicators you're gonna feel the heartbeat of the chart and you're gonna say oh going to be like the weather changing where you know okay the fall is here the leaves are changing you're going to look at this chart and you're going to see the music you're going to hear the music so the volatility index on the bottom this particular one it's in what we call let the cake bake zone where the the color of the line is black 
it's like not it's not oversold it's not overbought so it's like the nothing zone and you could see how that was kind of going sideways and went a little bit up and you could see that turning down so in these indicators you can definitely be uncertain and and have a little fear inside of you when you if you have a large sum invested at this time in bitcoin when you're if you're looking at a chart like this and you should be thinking okay what am i going to do am i going long term with this am i ready to 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 hold this through the wave that's coming or do i need to you know take profit now so it, it's a choice right you got to make choices you uh, you have to figure out how long of uh what kind of stamina you have right and um, sometimes doing nothing is, is a really good thing because you just hold it through all of these movements. And if you talk to anybody that bought Bitcoin in 2014, they can definitely <laughs> they can definitely tell you how holding just helps help them a lot. It definitely helped them with taxes because they just do nothing. Right. And uh, they pay nothing. So it, it's not a right or a wrong move. It's, it's like your own art project. Okay, so here's my favorite indicator, the volatility index. Again, not financial advice. This is kind of what I do. The volatility indicator measures how far the coin stretches away from its mean price. So in simple terms, when it's in that green zone up top, I take profits. Look to the right-hand side. You see overbought 80 and then on the first bottom green line, and then the upper green line is a 100. And earlier you saw me talk about, you know, setting alerts. So this is one of those indicators you can set an alert for. And you could say, if you've purchased that particular coin or you have it in your portfolio, you could say, tell me when it's in, when the volatility is at 80, which means that it's ready, it's ripe. It's like that fruit's going to fall off the tree. If you don't pick it off the tree, then it's going to drop and the animals are going to eat it and you're done. Or the squirrels are going to eat your peaches. So um that's your line 80 to 100. now you can also when you're in acquisition mode you set an alert saying hey i've really got my eye on this coin or or asset and you can set it for an alert saying tell me when this is below 20 or tell me when this is at 10 just like bitcoin is at 10 something right now super exciting um and then that's where i like to buy it's not down in that zone very often. So I get super excited. And then, you know, you're playing the waiting game. You wait till it gets to the green zone. If you wanted to gamify this, and that's pretty the, the easiest game in town. If you just kind of look at that volatility and you buy in the red, sell in the green. All right. Um, again, we're going to go live. And if you haven't subscribed to the indicators, you can do so at mastery.cryptobrigade.com. Calm. All right, so now this is the fun part, and this is where we are going to do question and answer with you, and Joe's going to come on the line with us, and um, if anybody wants to get unmuted and talk to us, that would be super exciting, because we have some great people on here. We've got Gabri Gabriella, oh, I won't say your names. We've got Gilio, Jan, Julie, KS, Paul, Sam, Terry, and a few more, so do you guys have any questions um, about the market right now that we can answer? You can type it in the questions box or you could also ask me to unmute you and you can ask it live. Hi. And, Hi, and this, hey, Joe. And guys, just so you know, this will be put on YouTube. So um, just want to make sure that if you do go live that you're okay with your voice being on YouTube. So Joe, hey, how are you doing? We have no questions so far, Joe. So go ahead, tell us what's going on in um, in your crypto world right now. <laughs> okay, um, you know, I always try to look for the uh, a really good example uh, to kind of start with. So um, one of the ones that I chose uh, was actually in the news article that you went over oh. earlier, which was uh, the ACH. Oh, that's what you gotta love. AC. Let me add it to our watch list. And I've bought could, this so many times. Put this on the uh, the daily chart. All right. Well, look, it's beautiful. Super low right now, too.
okay? And uh, this is one in here where you actually have the daily and the weekly green. So we're actually be able to see more of what the radar is doing. Now, um, what, what I want you to do, Susie, is uh, minimize the first radar, hide it, just so we clean the page up a little bit. I'm just, just going to buy it right back. now and see what happens. Oh, you want, oh, you will like only one radar. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So which one, but this one is so exciting. Look, I, okay, wait, I'm just going to close this out while I'm at profit. All right. So I just did a paper trade guys. Let me just show them the paper trade. Um, so if that's okay with you, Joe, I just want to show them how that works. That way they can um oh here account history okay so right here so i just made one thousand three hundred ten dollars but i bought a super amount of those guys but that's when you see this you could just test it that way you can you just do one more so they see you go trade buy it's all fake money all fake okay i just did an exuberant amount and i'm saying market price buy and then that box will tell you if you're in profit or loss. And look at all these boxes are green. And so, well, right now I'm at a loss. But let's just give them a minute. Sorry, Joe. Hopefully I don't ruin your, your show, Joe. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, no, okay. I'll see if the three minute is going down. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah. All right. So what we want to do is, is also uh, hide the ATR. Okay. I guess I right, should do so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I ruined it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I just let the cake bake. All right. All right. Here we go. It's out of our, our focus so much. Okay. So pretty much uh, what I just wanted to point out in particular to this is, is that last week, uh, for everyone that's been following, We've been watching the trend indicator. And this was a case point where the trend indicator um, actually turned red in, a in April. And it wasn't until uh, last week we actually turned green. So, Susie, if you could highlight the uh, trend uh, moving average, just so they could see it's a little bit more darker, you know, the colors, the green and the red. Do you mean like. Um... Well, you, if you click right there on settings on the trend. Okay. Okay, and go to style. Okay. And the first two, make those thicker. So, like, if you click the green and, yeah, to the right. All there right. There you go. Are you like the colors? Are those okay? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess the green you can make a little. Yeah, there you go. So, I, I just wanted to point out in particular to the, with this is that uh, in April, that moving average turned red. And, you know, that shows that the market is in a downtrend. It's going down. And it wasn't until recently, last week, we started to go green. And the trend indicator actually turned on. The, the bell alert was right there, your signal for entry. So each one of these overlays are very powerful. This is just one um, uh, in particular that the last couple of weeks we were kind of reviewing and you know uh as this market's been in the downtrend when you see red that means stay out so in essence just this one chart overlay uh really had a great positioning and then susie you see how after we had the bell alert we had the numerical numbers and that actually confirmed the trend very good. Yeah, I, I just made money. So I'm going to show them really quick. I just made 690. Fake money, guys. Okay. Total fake money. But it's a good way to, to test your spider skills, I guess. Is that the right <laughs> one to say? I don't know. But it's it's good, right? Just test it. And and personally, I feel blind doing it without my like intraday radar, but I'm just following Joe's instructions. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't play crypto with you that much, but it's super fun, guys. Like instead of video games, just play paper trading with your indicators. 
before you do it with real money and and you will be a super savvy trader in no time okay so keep going joe but but this is great so you're showing them that the trend indicator flipped the switch you went from red line on the trend to a green line and the signal line i do want to make point that the signal line came up before um, oh yeah well, now well, there's a one, one thing i'm enthusiastic i just wanted to say because you, you just touched on that, that signal line right okay now if you notice before the signal line right the tsi so you know i just wanted to just kind of just touch on yeah. that you know before you go it, it's just that um you know one of the things that you mentioned earlier was about how you scale into positioning with the chart overlays yeah. and here's a good example where it is that uh first you see the volatility index which is the one on the bottom right when you see uh that down in the red that lets you know that uh there could be a possible reversal coming right and that's a clue so you could scale into your position with that right there at the 20. second is the tsi the tsi showing the green right that's your second clue so you could be scaling in on your second positioning with the tsi now coming up to the signal line that's your third clue so now you have three clues and three different positionings where you could scale in and the trend hasn't even really changed yet like all the magic hasn't happened yet you're just getting ready for the party like you're getting the drinks you're getting the food the dj showed up <laughs> so joe into, yeah so here's the thing like let me just point out this like god run, look at that volatility guys whoa that was so low right here so so at that point if you say you had a hundred dollars right or say a hundred of whatever you hundred percent we'll say a percentage could could you could accumulate something a small percentage here a small percentage here a small percentage here and then a small percentage here and so you've slowly scaled your way in and i'm wondering like here's where my houdini indicator i call the early reversal indicator was right here i'm wondering what that price was so how far past this i mean every every scenario is so different but joe like one of the questions i have for you and i don't know if you can answer or not but with the early reversal how long should that you wait or what should you look for or i should look for before i jump in um from seeing the early reversal like do i well, just note mental note or should i take a uh, monetary action on this particular one well look the, the eri is is supposed to be early that's why it's you know the eri <laughs> you know so the thing is is that there's going to be times when you know the eri will fail and that's a fail now if i was to ask the question if you were to ask the question well why did that fail well then i would tell you is is that you didn't see the other chart overlays start to uh, start to move in synchronicity with price like if you notice how the trend stayed red okay now yeah. each one of these overlays are special and, and the whole purpose of using them all is to put the odds in our favor to win right you, you want to have more advantage over your competitor this is a zero-sum game like if you lose the market maker will make the money so the whole thing is is it's for us to have as many odds as we have in our favor with technology technology is the only way to win this war and uh, it's great to have all the fundamental information that this is a great coin but as we've seen in past history just because we have information it doesn't mean that bad things can't happen. This is a very volatile and dangerous market. And through technology and through education is how you navigate this one. So um, in this case point, um, we didn't see the actual trend start to explode, Susie, until you got the bell alert. And that's why if you wanted to play things like ultra conservative, 
um, with things, then you wait for the trend alert because that one there is when you actually uh, should actually uh, see the numerical count because the numerical count is when you see the numbers start to populate and you get the one, the two, the three. That's letting you know that the market is making higher highs. You're doing the right thing. It's going up, right? That's a whole other different type of calculation than the other overlays. The, the purpose of the other overlays is so that you don't miss anything, you know, because there's going to be times even when that trend indicator is going to be wrong. Like none of this is 100%. The idea is, is that you scale into your positions, right, and then when the trend indicator comes in, now you set your expectation high, and then, you know, you wait to see what happens. Right? I mean, can, I just, Go ahead. can I just show you, tell you something that if, if this chart could speak to me, this is what I hear it saying. The volatility index, look what happened. Okay, I'm going to take this away so you can see. Right down there, it was super solid on the ground, right? And then it started inching its way up. During that time, the trend strength indicator stopped printing the red. So right then and there, when there's nothing, that is something. That's a sign that there's some resistance. Some, the force is resisting the down, right? But simultaneously, you have up here where the Keltner bands are, you have this big movement below the lowest band. And that is just super exciting when you see that happening as far as when you're in the acquisition position that you say, wow, that is way far from the the lowest uh, moving average, if that's what that particular, is that, if I'm saying that correctly for you, Joe, but you can see it's way low. And then as soon as that happens, it just gives it a, a lot of space to grow. So it's almost like if you kind of look at the early reversal indicator, that makes a big difference. Keep going, Joe, I gotta, it's losing power. So the, I'm just I'm just noticing that that the collaboration of all of these indicators and where you can really take that volatility index and look at the TSI and when the TSI is not producing any colors, any red or green um, arrows. Yeah, look, that's a great explanation. It's just a perspective, but then the larger the 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 larger the downward spiral of that um, of that of that uh, candlestick, it's just I think the harder it falls, the more it's going to have to go up. But currently, though, Joe, here's the one concern I have: is that we're at the top of the um, counter band here. So at that point. Um, I mean, I was lucky to to get some winning trades really quick, in, you know, seconds in and out. But right there, that's a pretty high jump beyond the top Keltner band. So with that being said, if you're intraday trading, that's kind of a danger zone to enter here. What would you say? Well, it, the, and that's correct because, you know, uh, you had your signal. And when you set your alert, the alert is the bell alert. Okay, so you're supposed to be positioned at the bell alert. Now, the game is to buy low and sell high. And that's why it's important to have the overlay and to set your alert. Because if you weren't alerted that day, right, the market started to inch its way higher. And yeah. in buying right now, you're right, it's at the top, upper in the top counter, it's a little four. Now, it's not to say that it, it, it could make money, right? But at the same time, it's not the best positioning like on a scale from one to ten you know you buying right here might be like a three <laughs> because you missed the bus now it's not saying it can't still make money because i know you could be holding this for a long-term perspective and saying hey i'm looking for it to go back up to one and if you're holding stuff for a long-term perspective and you know it, that's true and and the thing is that what i do is the same way i scale in i scale out and right now, I'd be looking for maybe the ERI to turn on, possibly to give me an early exit. Or right there, like when you look at the TSI, Susie, you'll notice how we're still in the green, right? 
Now, as we inch up higher, we're going to come up into this blue zone. So, usually, that TSI reaches what that's called the overbought zone. And right there is a great place to take a profit um, on the red uh, green that shows. So, I mean, right now, that still shows green. Uh, you could scale out uh, some profits right here um, at the uh, counter band, or you could be looking to scale out some trades and you, and you have your alerts that are set and you're waiting, you know, for that TSI to trigger, you know, or you could just close out the trade here and say, you know what, hey, you know, I, I'm looking to make 10% uh, of this trade, maybe 100. Come out. So your audio is a little fuzzy. It's like blah, 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 a little bit. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I just want to let you know. Um, okay. Also, I want to take note, guys. I I went from this air. I took the ruler and I went from the bar from May 15th and to the very top of the little candlestick here. That's a 115% increase in nine days because this is a day chart. So nine bars is nine days. So, Joe, somebody doubled their money that got in here. That's huge. If they got out just here at that lot, at that moment, right there, within the just last few minutes. So I don't know if you knew how amazing find this was. <laughs> Did oh, you realize it was a hundred fifteen percent increase in nine days? <laughs> I I know that it went up. I didn't realize it was a hundred. That's, That's super super find, and that came from the um. The slide, that's where you just saw that. So that's amazing. So I'll just, I'm going to show you guys this coin 360, just so you guys know, like take the info from here. I'll just, I don't usually do this live, but I want to show you guys 200 gainers. Um, that's where Joe was saying he got that from the slide where he saw ACH went up 12%. And that's in the one day. But what I had done is a seven day chart and you could see it went up 54%. MIR was that, and we mix, whatever that is. So these, you can see people are definitely taking profit, but you could always come here and you can look at these boxes. So MIR may be another one we want to kind of look at and see like, okay, well, what happened? Okay, MIR is on Coinbase. And here's the one day chart. Joe, this, this may be one, I mean, a lot of movement it already had but we may not be so look i mean it's it's not beyond the top keltner on the one day basis look there's still room for that to go yeah and, I, mean, uh, I do want to take my other radar on so currently it's someone's taking profit and and guys you cannot blame anyone for taking profit you know you're going to take it anywhere you can in a market like this right um but yeah so so utilize all this technology we have and to, to position yourself and find things on on that crypto coin market. Crypto coin, it's coin360.com. So MIR, I'm going to go to this and I'm going to put it on our watch list. MIR. All right. Do you want to pull anything else from there and see it? Or do you guys have any questions? You're so quiet today. We have one minute net left. All right, no questions for today. <laughs> well, you know, Susan, there was another one that I that we can put on here, right? If you oh. go to the ET, ETC. All right, I'll look at that. And then last thing I want to do also is is the losers. Let's scoot back and pull up some losers. ET, oh, Ethereum Classic, I did see that one. Let's come up. Ooh, beautiful. Look, and it's not at the top of the Keltner band yet. Right, right. And that's why I just wanted to point that out is that um, this one hasn't moved to the top of that band. So this is one to watch over the next couple of days um, for anyone that's following along and stuff. It's going up for the three minute and it's not hit top. So you can go ahead and you could put your, um, your paper trades in on this and uh, and test it out. See what'll happen, right? Cause it's, oh, well, it's going down on a 10 to 15 to 30 minute basis. But like you said, let the cake bake on Ethereum Classic. 
Now check this other thing, Joe, I'm thinking if we go and say the the 50 biggest losers. Well, loser on there? Yeah, so the biggest loser, which is one that's gonna flip eventually. Oh my gosh, B-E-T-U at 78%. <laughs> Let's see if we can go, no. So we can say the 200, biggest 200 losers. Uh, okay, so the biggest market cap loser is LDO. 20, no, wait, KOK, -K, 28%. Oh, oh, ATC is at 40% down. I would say the biggest market cap loser would be LDO. Let's look at that. Is that okay with you? Sure, let's put it on there. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna have to do LDO on, we'll say Binance. Oh, it looks like it's so new. It's a newer one. So it doesn't well, have enough info. Well, but something's new like that, you can try the four hour, but um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, right now th this thing is, is trending down. Wow, with really? the uh, uh, with the moving average, everything is down. So the, the the best thing to do with this is to set your alert and uh, let the market come to you. So you know this is a good example of uh, different ways on how education can empower you um, to take advantage of you know the opportunities that the markets present themselves. You know, and one aspect. You know, you could be looking in here for the perfect trade. And then another aspect, right, you can be waiting for the perfect trade. So if you got a market like this, which is down an exuberant amount and a short time yeah. frame, Great. this could be something that, you know, you let the cake bake and the market may come to you with this opportunity two or three weeks from now. This might be ready to, to develop. So it's this is a case point where you can take, you know, um, a product in here which is not ready and you can set your alerts and it's just like you having uh, just like a mother bird sits, sits on her eggs you know you sit on this and then at a certain time the alerts trigger and then this could be a great opportunity and then at the same time you, you can use the chart overlays in another way where you can find something that's eminent that you can get into right now um, to position yourself so you know there's two ways in there on how you can you know, utilize this to uh, have great success. Yeah, I want to take note, guys. So you see the early reversal came in right here. Well, it already happened here. So don't think that this early reversal is going is um. And correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, but this early reversal already it kind of came through here. So you for you to think like, okay, yeah, the early reversal is hitting. It should come past some kind of already new market upswing. Is that correct, Joe? Or might, did I say that correctly for you? Are you there? Oh, no, that's correct. That's so this correct. Early I, mean, look, I don't want them to think that this early reversal still stands because this already kind of did the reversal. It, it pushed forward. And so now you're waiting for, a, you need a second early reversal to come in after that movement already moved upward. Yeah, well, here's the thing, Susie, right? The market's going to move in different ways, and not every time it's going to be perfect. If it, if there was a perfect way on how the market moved, you know, the markets wouldn't exist, right? The market moves elusively, and that's the purpose of having more than one chart overlay and having special chart overlays. Like, there's so many free indicators that you can get. You can go into any platform and you say, look what I can give you for free. But sometimes free doesn't actually get you what you want and here in this case point these are special indicators and part of them being special is the advantage that they give you over everybody else so you know that's the advantage that you have in that radar when you're able to look at multiple time frames you know go search go look around there's not too many people that have this type of technology and this is the advantage that you're gaining when you learn this um, as well as in there with the trend indicator, as far as the, how that works with the numeric count. So each one of the tools that we have are unique in each way. They're all specialized proprietary tools um, because we're traders just like you. And how can you have a product or offer a product if you don't know how to use the product and you're not having success with it? And that's why, you know, 
these different setups that we go over with you, they're redundant, and the rules never change. We always do the same thing. We always follow the same rules, and the rule number one is let the market come to you. So KS, I agree with that, and KS said, for the biggest losers, you would want to make sure you are not buying another Luna on its way down. So everybody needs to do their due diligence. And at this point, with the stable coins being as volatile as they are, or with the Luna situation, I do recommend that everybody understand the technological hiccups that occurred with the Luna scenario and be aware of how important it is to make sure that whatever you get into, you can get out fast. And when I say that, guys, I wholeheartedly mean it, even down to the amount you are willing to invest. Note, take note that Ray Dalio with Bridgewater, he's one of my clients that I've worked with for years, and he he does not play. OK, he, he does. He does not just lightly say he's OK with Bitcoin. And actually, one of my best friends manages his money. She works for him. Um, the deal is, is that he stated he only has a minuscule amount invested in the cryptocurrency realm. Right. And he says it's volatile. But the most important thing, guys, is that, you know, whatever exchange you're doing business with how much you can take out every day. And I recommend, it's not FDIC insured, which means that the banks would back it at all. But there is the one limit I want you guys to all please pay attention to is your daily withdrawal limit. With the situation we're in these days, with the dollar being very iffy, with the, the crypto stable coins being iffy, you may need to transform your, your current fiat currency into assets ASAP, right? So you need to do a test on yourself and your own portfolio and test how fast it will take to get that money out of the market and back into your bank account and physical money into your hands. Or if you have like a crypto.com account, how fast would it take for you to transform that money, get it onto the credit card and use that credit card to buy food with? if that makes sense. So there's certain places that I've positioned my investments. So like, for instance, crypto.com so that I can easily put it on that crypto.com credit card. And if I need to go to Home Depot and buy something, or if you got to go to the gas station, I can use that credit card because it's visa backed and I could transform my currency into that way and utilize it. So I would say don't get into anything you can't get out of. We are looking at obscure coins right now. Um, you know, I, I don't recommend going on um, teeny tiny exchanges that are mystery exchanges that could open and close in, you know, in the dark of the night. So just keep your safety hat on and do due diligence. And um, that's why I feel like there is a portion of my personal portfolio where I go long term and I just kind of leave it there where I just say, however the waves go, I leave it there. But then there's a portion that is strictly monitored and and it's it's watched and, and managed like on a consistent, persistent basis, which is a swing trading portfolio. Yeah, we're over time. So Joe, is there anything you wanna to add to that? Like a safety feature? Cause KS had a good important comment in that safety realm and I, and I Respect everybody's time. Um, KS says, and invest across multiple asset classes. Never put eggs in one basket. Exactly. Just as Ray Dalio said, a small portion is in crypto. And um, and Joe, it, you you could attest for that. You you definitely have a diversified portfolio, right? Yeah. And and look, there's nothing wrong with um, you know standing aside. And they have that that uh, die coin. Uh, you know, and the DIA, this, that's another coin inside the, the Coinbase, and just waiting because ultimately the market cycles, you know, are like the waves of the ocean and the wave is going to follow through. And you have to wait uh, until when the market, when the market is trending, uh, whether it's up or it's down, that's a representation of the wave. And you can't stop the wave when it's coming. So 
you know, when you have a market that starts to liquidate, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with uh, uh, staying on the sidelines and going into cash. Uh, also, do your due diligence, you know, because look, there's all a hundred coins that coin base. So the thing is, is that um, when you have that many coins, there's a lot that can go wrong. A lot. So be very diligent and, um, you know, and always risk, uh, you know, a portion of what you care, what you're comfortable on losing. And if you're not comfortable on losing, stay on the paper trade. Stay in the demo. You know, if you were paper trading for the whole year and then you, you started doing real money, just think about how much of an advantage you would have. So sometimes people look at paper trading where as, um, you know, they're, they're not going to learn something. And the thing, and what I want to just point out is, is that when you have the tools and you have an education, it's all waiting for you. It's totally different than someone that's chasing it. You know, the people up there that are not in this class and they don't have these tools, they're consistently chasing it. Now, Everyone that's attending these class and that are spending the time to get an education, what right now is happening, you guys are becoming empowered by education and transforming. So, you know, you, you're going to fly higher and your colors are going to be brighter, right? And then the decisions you make are going to be smarter. And it's all, you know, to an education. So that's the advantage really that you have and even with an education you still have to be careful and only risk a portion that, that you're willing to lose. Well, I agree. And right now I mean, as we end this, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick test, a quick quiz on sushi. If you had purchased this back um when the trend indicator came up, which was May twenty first this is at 26.52%. And if you want to continue to trade at a four hour basis, this would be a place to take profit. As you can see, the signal line has changed and you see that the volatility index is in the green zone. So this is a great example for a quick quiz to see if you guys were listening um, that this is when you should be taking profit. 26% on sushi in three days and 12 hours. So um, if you're zoning in, you know, on these volatile, volatility moments, maybe a shorter time frame is best for you if you're wanting to get in. But this is a time to take profit because you're in the volatility index oversold zone. And it, it's a good example to see the difference between being on the bottom in the red zone of volatility and the top. So that being said, you guys have a great week and I look forward to everybody talking next week and bringing your questions and it's been amazing. It's great to hear you um, teach Joe and I thank you for being here with me today. And if you guys need to get the indicators, if you wanna subscribe, you can go to um, that URL I posted earlier and this will be on the YouTube Crypto Mastery channel if you guys wanna watch the review. So have a great week. Yeah, good luck trading, everyone. Thank you for attending. Joe, uh, um, Terry said, thanks, Susie and Joe. Very helpful. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback, Terry. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week.